Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. I am back with another Draw This In Your Style challenge. I have done two of these so far, and I've based them off of characters based off the flavors of ice cream. So, so far I have done Neapolitan ice cream, mint chocolate chip, and now we have, oh, I also did a strawberry shortcake one, but I didn't do a video on it, but here is orange sherbet ice cream. And so I said, I've got to do this one more time. I'd love to do these kinds of videos once a month. So I got 115 recreations of orange sherbet. You guys completely amaze me. Just how fast these came flowing in and just, they're so, they're all amazing. They're so crazy. And the thing is, not a single one of them looked like mine, and they were all in your own individual art style. If you have not heard of the Draw This In Your Style challenge, basically what happens is I give you a drawing or a character of mine, an original character of mine, and then I challenge everybody on my Instagram page to redraw the character in their own original art style. This is just amazing. I loved everything that everyone sent me, whether they were chibi or digital art or traditional art. Every single one of these just blew me away. And it's just, it's crazy to think there are so many talented people in the world when it comes to these kind of recreations and art. So what happened was I actually could not get this out on Saturday because I actually had everything edited. I had everybody's pictures all inside the video ready to go. And then I realized I was out of town and I already had this done, but I was out of town and I was just kind of looking at my camera bag and I went, oh my goodness, I didn't bring my mic. <laughs> so that's why this video is sadly delayed because I didn't get home until Sunday night really late. So I just kind of passed out because I work at 9 a.m. in the morning and I have to teach a ton of art classes. So I had to get this up and going eventually. So <laughs> I really do apologize for this being late. So, so far, the thing about including ice cream into original characters, when I was doing Orange Sherbert, I first, of course, my mind went straight to Strawberry Shortcake, as in the little girl cartoon that's been around since the 80s, or probably longer than that, because my mom grew up with Strawberry Shortcake when she was a kid, and so I just didn't want to copy anybody else's strawberry shortcake when it came to that. And then when it came to orange sherbet, orange sherbet was always a favorite ice cream of mine because there was this place in Michigan that I always used to visit called Frankenmuth. And we always would get these ginormous dinners, these German dinners from this German restaurant. And we would always get orange sherbet to kind of seal off the whole ginormous dinner. And I loved the little, they had like little itty bitty plastic people, German girls and boys. So if you were a boy, you got a little German boy. And if you were a girl, you got a little German girl, little plastic figure that just stuck into the orange sherbet. So I was thinking, how can I incorporate that this was an orange swirled sherbet? So I wanted to include it in her shirt as well as her hair. Now, I had not done any gingers or strawberry blondes yet. So the Neapolitan girl was just supposed to be your basic, just, you know, American girl. And then when it came to Mint Julep girl, I wanted to make her Hispanic. It was strawberry shortcake. She was supposed to be African American. And so I had not done a ginger yet, just because that was, that's what made me think of more of a European thing is just the, a ginger. I don't, I don't know why. I think it was probably because I just had seen Mamma Mia. And that's just like, it, even if they were Greek or something, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what nationality she is. I wanted her to be European, but I was trying to get all the nationalities done so far when I came to all the ice cream flavors so I think my next ice cream flavor will possibly be Indian or possibly uh, Native American who knows which one I'll choose I just want to try to get all the nice nationalities when it comes to ice cream flavors if you have any suggestions please leave in the comments down below because I think that would be awesome I still need to do guys too I definitely want to do something like a rocky road maybe make him you know his name's Rocky and kind of include maybe he had dark skin and maybe a cool like 
hair that looks like he has chocolate chips in his hair, maybe cool highlights. I tried to incorporate all the ice cream flavors in the hair, definitely, but I've definitely got to make some male characters next, and I'm wondering, would you guys be interested if I made one of the male ice cream flavors one of the challenges? I know, I don't know, a lot of people that I come across some people like to draw girls more and they find drawing guys are challenging or if it's vice versa where people have trouble drawing girls and they just draw guys all the time so it's just difficult and I come across that a lot when it comes to my cartoon art class that I teach in real life quotation marks and I just when I'm teaching I just find that a lot of the guys I'll do an example of a girl on the board for all the girls in my class to have girl characters and then all the boys will just kind of sit there and stare like what are we supposed to do and I'm like well guys you, you gotta eventually draw girls someday so come on I don't know but I just I just found that it was funny and it's just interesting because then I do force them I force the girls to draw guys and I force the boys to draw girls and but you know it's just a challenge where you have to challenge yourself and push yourself a little bit more. I mean, I was never amazing at drawing guys, and I think I've explained this to you guys before, where when it came to drawing guys, my guys started looking a lot like girls, and I thought, oh my goodness, I need to fix this. So I buckled down, and I drew a bazillion concept sketches of uh, Kristoff and Flynn Rider, and all the male characters I could find, tons of Tadashi and uh, Hero from Big Hero 6. But I'm very interested. I really want to do a couple of the guy characters as well. My friend Wes actually came up with a couple of guy characters where he did he did this challenge. And if you saw earlier in the video, there was a couple. And I think they were brother sister. So it had, of course, Orrin Sherbert. And then next to her was the exact same character as a guy as Orrin Sherbert. And somebody else did Orrin Sherbert as a guy earlier in the video. You probably saw it. And... He, he actually made the popsicle, I don't know what they're called, but they're red, white, and blue, and he actually gave the highlights to the guy's hair, and I'm just like, can I have the idea? <laughs> so I definitely want to look at different ice cream flavors or popsicle flavors that are just completely famous throughout all the universe. Maybe make like a Dots character, because everybody loves Dots. Ugh, Dots are just the most expensive thing in the world, but I love them. They're the ice cream of the future. But yes, guys, I really, really love every single one of these. I was completely blown away. I can't believe this is 115 posts and submissions and redraws of Orange Sherbert. You guys blow me out of the water. So make sure if you have an Instagram, follow me on Instagram. I've been posting on the com on the community board when I post these challenges and I even include the drawings. So if you guys can get that drawing to me through Instagram is always the best way to get a hold of me. Or if it's Facebook Messenger on my Facebook page, it's Dramatic Parrot try to get those drawings to me so I can include your amazing masterpieces in these awesome videos. I am so happy you all participated and I'm really happy you guys even tr were willing to redraw Orange Sherbert. It completely makes me so happy. I'm very blessed to have every single one of you. You guys are amazing and incredibly talented and just never ever stop. I hope you guys have a most wonderful day and I'll see y'all later. Bye!